other little bit of injury news today. As uh, Bears fans, we had quite the scare. Uh, David Rough. Montgomery went down with a non-contact leg injury that is evidently a groin injury. Um, he's currently being drafted as the 27th running back, 79th overall, which I thought was extreme value. Uh, we have him ranked all the way up as running back 19 and 35th overall. Um, obviously, we would move him down in our rankings if he's supposed to miss time. I've I've literally like it's amazing. I love Twitter because as soon as this injury happened, there were like four doctors talking through all the possibilities and the range of outcomes stems anywhere from four to eight week injury to like maybe he comes back in two or three. But realistically, it's looking like four to eight weeks for David Montgomery. So like the trade talk was swirling at first. It was like the guy blew out a knee, but you got to think that Monty's going to fall some more. It's going to be interesting to see what the bears do, right? Like, do they sign Devonta Freeman? Do they make a trade? Do they just say Cordero Patterson? What's up? Running back one. Like that's not going to be Tariq Cohen. No, right. They're they're not going to be running Tariq Cohen up the middle. I mean, he might get a couple more toss plays or whatever to figure out whatever they're doing with him. I mean, the Devonta Freeman thing is is interesting. You floated on Twitter earlier about uh, trading for Kareem Hunt, which I actually thought was really interesting, especially with with uh, the Matt, Nagy, Matt Nagy being a right being a, f- a former Chiefs offensive coordinator where where Kareem Hunt was previously for being in the Browns. Um. I mean, as a Bears fan, I'm initially devastated. I'm sure you are too, as an Iowa guy or Iowa State guy or whoever Both. you're for. Like the entire, you're for the entire state of Iowa. Um, I O W A. I don't know what that means, and neither does anybody else. Um, <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> I just, uh, it it sucks because that's where the Bears are actually the the least depth prepared on their entire offense. Um, I feel like they were really banking on building around him this year, especially if the quarterbacks suck. You have to have a running back. And if you don't have a running back and you don't have a quarterback, you don't really have an offense. So maybe you even discount Allen Robinson because you just put like three guys on him and stop their offense. Like at this point, stop a Like at this point, like put put two cornerbacks on Allen Robinson inside, outside, throw the safety over the top and let him throw to Jimmy Graham, who's apparently the best offensive player on, on their up, team. Lighting up Bears camp. The only, I mean, he was carrying Alshon Jeffries piano in Green Bay last year. Oh so my God. Uh, there's enough pianos to go around. I mean, we can a, do it's this. A tra- yeah, it's the it's the story of the traveling piano. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the sisterhood of the traveling pianos. <laughs> yeah, br- brotherhood actually. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it like you never want to see a con a non contact injury and his foot slipped. And so I'm hoping it's not that severe, but at the same time, if anything, it's going to continue to drop his value where maybe you can get him around later or two than you were planning on. And if that's the case, if he comes back again, it's about when, when he comes back, he's gonna be the guy. And so I've said it before take take people who have injuries. I said about Debo going to say it about Montgomery here. If he's going to be there a round or two later and you have a, you have an IR slot or you can just stash him for a couple weeks, especially when you're not planning on playing him immediately, you're going to be golden at the end of the season. So just wait, be patient and take him when you think you need to, where he's finally not going to stop dropping. So just, just take advantage of it. 